too. I imagine you got to be pleased with the way that was. Yeah, I mean, anytime you can come up here, you know, we, we saw before, I think, the, the last 14 ranked teams come in here, nine up lost. So winning in this league is hard. Winning on the road is even more difficult. And we've played three road games and we've won two of them. So you give yourself a chance to stay in the league title race when you can win, win road games. And I thought this was a pivotal one because we go home for two. Uh, two very difficult home games, but to get to the midpoint. But it gives us an opportunity now to take care of business and be in really good position going into the second half of the season. And I, I thought our bigs were terrific, and I thought Kendall and, uh, and Q were uh, really good uh, throughout the game. Can you talk about the decision? You, you went with Cameron for the start. Why specifically did you go with Well, I, we thought um, they're not a real big team, but we thought, and maybe we were wrong because they make like 12 threes, but. Uh, we thought that their go-to was um, Washington first, and, and we thought Nance could bother you too. Um, their guards have not scored, their guards have not been a whole lot of their offense, and we at least made them do something different. I guess that was the positive. If we'd have got beat, maybe I would have second-guessed myself on that. But we thought big to big, we could um, we could do some things, and I thought uh, both Aussies tonight were, were very good. Steve, you only they had 12 threes, but I think they only had eight at the basket. So you right, it's a, you know, it's a give and take. Uh, you're not going to... We kept them still. Um, we kept them down. We, you know, they got a couple threes at the, the half court, not the half court, but the end of halftime. That was a tough shot. Uh, the ball bounced our wrong way there, where they were able to tie the game, uh, where they made a shot. But you got to give them credit. They, when they got the shots, they made them, uh, and it's not something they've been doing. And I think when you start doing scouts and stuff, you want to try to take away their strengths. And I thought we did a really good job on Washington. After what happened with San Diego State? points and the shooting percentage. You guys shoot 48% tonight. From an offensive standpoint, you get what you want tonight? Yeah, and not just offensive. I, you know, just from, um, I, we had that toughness. We had that look. Um, you know, I've said along, San Diego State, they had their backs against the wall. There's no way they could get three games behind us five games into this conference race and think they were going to be able to survive that. So we got their best shot. You know, if you watch you watch San Diego State play against us in that game and just look at their demeanor and when they came up here, it's like a different team. And um, you know, So we got their best shot and you got to, some things like that, you just take your hats off and say congrats. And But our guys have short memories and we haven't had, we haven't been on the losing end very often and uh, I knew we would respond and I thought we responded and got back to playing tough basketball the way we've been playing. Steve, the game winner, did that unfold as you had drawn it up? Well, one, we were in pick and roll offense, but um, Hugh Greenwood's made big shot after big shot. Uh, Hugh's had, he's had games where he's not made anything, and yet in the last five minutes he'll come up with a big shot or a big free throw. And today I thought he was really good throughout. He shot the ball well. He, I think he had a double double. I think he had 10 rebounds. And, uh, and he makes not just the big shot, but Hugh's also been struggling with the free throw line. And those were two huge free throws, and he knocks both of them down. And that's. For a sophomore, if you look at what his record is, a starting point guard is pretty phenomenal. Yeah. When you look at the fact that San Diego State did lose here, and you win, that's sort of almost like a double victory. That's, you know, we, you never know who's going to be the top tier yet. Uh, we haven't even got to the midpoint yet, but obviously San Diego State's picked to win this thing, and um, we've got a one-game lead on them uh, with a win here that they didn't get, and they've got to come to our place. So um, don't, those are some positives. I guess you can spin it however you want to spin it. They've already beat you, that type of thing. but. We're trying to spin it to our guys that way. Do you look at it, the schedule? Well, you mentioned that you, know, you have an opportunity now at home to get to 7-1, and, one and you're, you're quoting, all right, we went there, we're a game up, we got this one in our pocket. Do you view the games against the Wyomings and the Boise States, the quote-unquote mid-tier of the league, as the pivotal ones of the side? Well, they're, they're all, they're, you know, you can easily say that, but they're all pivotal because, um, you know, we've won three of these championships, and each of those championship seasons we've been able to win on the road. We've won... You know, at least four, if not five, in one championship year we won um, seven. Know, seven, seven that year. So if you can win on the road, uh, that you're going to get one up on people. We, we play plus minus games, and where you get nothing for a home win, you get minus one for a home loss, and you get plus one for a home or a road win, and we're at plus two. So if you can, if you can be a plus two at the midpoint, um, that at least puts you in position where you can control some things. When you have a game plan coming in, and it looked like. Imagine you hit most of your markers for the first half, and you go in, you're down one. What yeah, do you, what do you, what do yeah you do? the frustrating part, yeah. just within our staff meeting, the frustrating part was that we're down one with Washington doing nothing. Uh, we got him in foul trouble. He hadn't scored. He hadn't been a presence on the backboard. That was the biggest concern we had because he's a very good player, and we knew he was going to respond in the second half. So 
the biggest concern we had at half was that we felt like we let an opportunity go by um, by not taking advantage of him being on the bench. Talk about the Beaks a lot, but the rebounding for three games, you guys got out rebounded three right. times in a row. That the last 48 hours is all we've talked about toughness and rebounding. And I thought we passed both those tests tonight. I thought we got the loose balls, I thought we were tough, we were physical, and I don't know what the total ended up being, but I, I thought we did a really good job on the backboard. Plus 12 uh, is an outstanding night's work on the backboard.